Diabetes is thought to be an incurable condition, but in a groundbreaking study, Taiwan scientists show that the disease can be reversed. Academia Sinica researchers found an inhibitor that can reduce enzyme activity and protect pancreatic islet cells. This inhibitor was given to diabetic mice, which had stable blood sugar levels for more than a year after treatment. The U.S. FDA has authorized the team to conduct human trials, and the, tr and the drug could be market ready within seven years. According to government data, more than two million people in Taiwan have diabetes. It's an incurable condition, meaning that patients must receive insulin injections for the rest of their lives. But a pioneering Academia Sinica study has found a targeted therapy that could reverse diabetes. This inhibitor basically has the same effect as a gene knockout. It can inhibit the activity of enzymes to protect pancreatic islet cells. When this inhibitor was tested on mice, a single generous dose was enough to reverse diabetes in 60 percent of mice. The study found that administering the PS1 inhibitor to mice resulted in a decrease in islet cell proteases, thereby inhibiting islet degradation. The oral drug was tested on mice with early or mid-stage diabetes. After 18 weeks of oral administration, the mice's blood sugar levels remained stable for more than a year. We filed with the U.S. FDA in April, and we received authorization to carry out human trials. Phase two could take two years. Phase three trials, which happen in several countries could take three years. It'll be at least seven years before this drug hits the market. The researchers' animal study has been published in an international medical journal. The team hopes to wrap up human testing in seven years to reach a major breakthrough in diabetes treatment. One doctor says the research is significant as the average age of diabetes onset is falling and the disease can bring about severe complications. <laughs> It can cause retinopathy, neuropathy, kidney disease, and microvascular disease. You have to pay close attention to complications. It can give rise to macrovascular disease, leading to cardiovascular disease and cerebrovascular disease. You must be even more cautious in the late stage of treatment. The new findings offer a glimmer of hope to diabetes patients. But until the research is mature, prevention is still better than cure.